So here's the sitch. My year 12 formal, or calm as other species have referred to it, is in exactly 12 days, two weeks, a whole fortnight. And I reluctantly came up with the idea to obviously make my own formal outfit. And we have exactly two weeks, so. Also, I don't know how to announce this, but this is my first YouTube video, well, officially, and I don't know if I was meant to go on with an introduction and introduce myself, or should I just jump right into it, because that'll build character and grab attention, but if so, hey y'all, it's been A. Uh, I can't say welcome back to my channel, because you've never had somebody to come back to, because this is the first, so subscribe if you want. I don't know. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and the accumulation of, like, two weeks of shopping so we have the vest we have the pants we have the boots and um and that's basically it in terms of the actual clothing i'm still yet to buy a shirt because i'm just that lazy i suppose and this uh really beautiful white uh lily organza as it is called is what we're using for the cape and then everything that is on this gold lace um lace is what we're using to embellish everything basically i've already started down out here and i've already spent a weekend cutting so much of this out and it is so much work and there is over two meters of this which we have to cut out and i say we because i want y'all to feel included in this i suppose i don't know how youtubers do this all right so firstly um if you ignore the messy background and the out of context pause the youtube frame uh, we're going to get started on the shoes. So, firstly, I bought uh, a whole bunch of this gold floral trim off of eBay. Came in super quickly, which is always a bonus. And now we are going to embellish the shoes. First idea was to use, not that, ah, so a bunch of these from the gold lace uh, that was shown previously, and to decorate it onto the shoe. I really should have scripted this, but uh, to decorate it onto the shoe. Oh my god. Anyway, so we've decided to go along with this and decorate both the front and the back of the heel. Voila. This is simply going to be done with fabric glue and since it is sheer, you probably will see it, but I'm just going to be gluing along the backings of the actual embroidery itself, so hopefully it works with pop bang. And right about here, I'm going to do exactly as I told you I would do. And I'm just lathering on some glue on the back and I'm pouring it some heavier areas where the embroidery is heavier and I'm just spreading around with a pin. And right here, I thought that there was glue in my hair and I spent five minutes trying to pick at it. And here I am just attaching it to the back of the heel, working my way up and down and get ready to hear a line about three, two, one. But next, I'm moving on to the waistcoat because the pants, once you see, it's going to be a whole situation in itself. God, I don't want to get started on the cape yet. And the shirt, I don't even have a shirt to, to wear yet. So we're doing the waistcoat. So from the lace appliques, I have cut out these small angular pieces. And with this, you really can't cut it off cleanly. Like whatever you do, it is all connected like with this gold. Tr uh, I'm going to assume it's beading, but it really is not that complicated. But anyway. Uh, we are cutting that out and simply embellishing the very trims of it and since the front panel is really this wool polyester blend and then the back just goes right into the lining fabric i'm not going to bother covering that since it is also going to get covered by the cape anyway so evidently i'm just going to square it off with the trimming like this and i'm not sure if evidently is the right word but evidently it's all i can think of using right now and in terms of the buttons, I really don't like the black buttons right now. I mean, it goes with the hangar, so that's nice. But um, for the, I'm going to replace these with gold buttons, simply, obviously, to go with the ensemble. And oh my god, this is so... Ta this is awful quality. For $65, this is coming off so easily. Which is also good, because that means it's going to be easy to put back on. So let's get started, ye. However, evidently you do not get started, ye, as in fact you spend the next nine days of pure procrastination and then you realize until it's too late that you actually have to start a new side project in about three, two, one. So, uh, slight pause, um, because it turns out before formal, I actually have to, um, graduate first and today is Monday and graduation is this Friday and it's five o'clock on th today, so, well, right now, so I basically three days to make my outfit. Oh, and also I'm making my outfit for graduation because I couldn't find anything else to wear and making it is somehow always the answer now. So let's get started on that, I guess. 
All right, so I figured since I'm going for a white and gold ensemble for formal, I would go the other route and actually do black and gold ensemble for graduation. And yeah, I, I lost the nail, okay, don't at me. So I figured um, this is a blazer that my brother has lent me. And man, I take way too damn long to actually explain things and use way too many hand gestures when I'm not in front of the camera. So basically what I'm saying is my brother let me borrow this suit, but I cannot actually permanently attach the trim in any way, so I had to make it temporary. But I actually do make a start on this, and then I'm going to get distracted in another side project in about three, two, one. Okay, so here's the update. So somehow it's already Wednesday. It's Wednesday night, and I've essentially lost the entire day because I got called into work last minute, and um, I've gotten basically no progress done, and um, I have about one, okay, I have one full day tomorrow, and that's it, and um, since we're already so far off track this original video already, why not go even further, because if it wasn't enough to go ahead and decorate my grad outfit, I'm also going to decorate my, uh, my gown that we were given yesterday because it just, life just be like that. So, let's go ahead. All right, so uh, I probably should explain it, um, but I'm not, uh... Yes, we have now established that you are in fact horrible at explaining things, and here I'm just saying in a very slow manner that I'm going to cover the gown with some gold butterflies that I'm going to show in a TikTok and not full close because everyone can understand TikToks and it adds a sense of simplicity to tutorials, yay. Anime is an important part of our culture! Aw, oh, look at him tremble! He's gonna burst the blood vessel because I dissed his wife! Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little closer, sexy boy, in the scratch, keep a little head. And now back to what you did not click on this video for, actually. We are back to the grad suit TikTok here, because I do not want to explain five minutes of that anyway. So I'm just pinning on some gold trim here, as you can clearly tell, there was meant to be copyright music over here, so I don't know how to fill in the blanks, so it's, 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 it's. I'm just trying to make my rim look aesthetic there, and now I am just cutting up the pants to make them nice bell bottoms. Very 70s vibe. I know, right? Oh, I would also recommend hemming the cuts, actually, because uh, now they are fraying two weeks later to the crisp, no, to the thread. And, uh, oh, it's the reveal. Uh, can read my, can read my, no, you can read in my, uh, Casey can't tell, it was Poker Face by Lady Gaga that was playing. And now here's some shots from graduation, work about 5.30 when the sun was actually shining because I prayed for sun the night before. And here we are going into school for the very last time with some sun, so that's nice. And here we are getting announced as the newly graduates of 2021. Oh, my hair looks so nice. But then we walked outside and it was absolutely pouring. And here is I walking proudly across the stage as people actually cheered, which threw me by surprise. And here is another view from the live stream my parents are watching. And my principal Sally absolutely loved it and that threw my breath away. No, through, took, yes. Now it's Koo Ramen time as a way of celebratory evenings. And um, here is us trying to do a TikTok that we wanted to transition into formal, but we forgot to. All right, so update, I have, okay, not just gotten back. I've been home for hours now, but I still have not changed from graduation. And I've been wearing this makeup for almost 15 hours straight. And it is, it looks worse than like a McDonald's grease fry trap, but I don't know what the point of this is, it's just to fill you in. Um, most people like the outfit. It was good because if I've already voiced over this, but yeah, a lot of the teachers actually liked it, so yay, I didn't get in trouble. I got clout, so uh, I guess that finally leaves us getting back to the original video, and I shall see how that goes. And goes this went indeed, as we finally started on the formal look, but remember we lied, so we did not continue on the vest, and we are starting on the cape. And once you fail at trying to do a cool transition, figure out the pattern piece, which you conclude is an extremely long trapezium, and then use a plastic tablecloth that you borrowed from your brother, aka Taco, to use as the pattern piece that you cut the fabric out from. And ill, please get that out of frame, I beg of you. And now we are returning to reverse voice of a man. Right, hello friends, so... Um, since the time last it has been, oh, it's now night, I haven't done much progress, not the best thing, but, oh well, here we are. So how in the process now for the cape, um, as you saw, I did cut out the final pattern piece, so that is all done and dusted using tablecloth, work smarter, not harder, yeah. Um, so I have been able to cut it out initially for the first piece over here. Um, I am, the only concern I might have is perhaps is the stretching along the edges themselves since it is cut on a slant um, aka the bias not a true bias um, not exactly at 45 degrees so it won't stretch as much thankfully but um, 
it still may perhaps be a factor. Hopefully that won't go to um, woo uh, since I am adding a lining to this so it will thicken up the layers. Um, from then on we shall just see how that goes on and we shall just continue as normal. Cool. Right, so it is the next day and I am currently Working on cutting out the lining layer of this. Hopefully this is going to go well. As you can see, I'm actually using this satin instead as opposed to using the organza again. Now, funny story. So if I can get this out properly, I bought initially six meters of this a month ago. You'd think it would be enough, but no. I just had to make this whole other coat in the time being, considering, oh, I have so much time. I might as well just use some of the fabric. And then, of course, um, I don't have enough to make the cape using two layers of this. So I figured I'd buy more online. Oh, but little did you think, at least four weeks later, it still has not come. And I got a message like a few days after it was initially sent out saying, oh, the UPS driver missed you. And um, I did not get any way to contact them to reorganize it. So we're gonna have to utilize this satin the best we can because I have literally nothing else in no other choice. And as you can see, it is slightly short. I mean, it doesn't matter because um, I'm going to make the lining up to where the shoulder seam is. But if not, we're just going to have to piece some together, some extra pieces on because piecing is period. Let's go. And on a side note, I also figured because, I mean, not only this is the only white fabric I have that could cover this vast quantity of size, but it is... It is pretty thick, um, so it will give a very nice opacity to it. And it is, since it is a considerably heavy fabric when you use so much of it, it will definitely weigh it down, which will make it spread open, hopefully nice and nice. And I figured I'm also going to make these sleeves out of this, as opposed to the organza, since the organza will show my bare arms, which I am very insecure about. So hopefully this will be a nice substitute. Um, and we shall see where we go from there. Here is I cutting out the lining layer with my oh so very conventional uh, fabric weights because who wouldn't use that stuff? And here is I struggling to film with one hand. I don't know how people possibly do that. That seems to have worked sort of ish. Um, I just, as you can tell, I just top stitch basically all around it. It is not neat at all. Well, it's neat ish. It's neater than glue. I'll say that much. Um, but would I recommend doing this? If no one's gonna see it, sure. Honestly, sure. One, two, three, four! Alright, um, so flipped it all inside out and now up to... The top stitching basically just essentially just a French seam uh, and if you're wondering why I should have to quarrel with the confound uh, complexity of top stitching well simply take a look cuz um, she ain't flat she is thick as the younglings say um, and not in the good way it is very very bubbly um, it does basically looks like um, an empty plastic bag that's been blown into and I have tested it out like multiple times and stitching over the top will increasingly flatten it and I know what you're wondering why not just iron it to solve the whole problem that's a good question that I I, I can't answer because um, I'm busy so I may have skipped a couple steps well not so much I just didn't film those extra steps because let's be honest who wants to sit through 10 minutes worth of top stitching because we all know what that's about oh but yet who wants to sit through another 10 minutes worth of your nonsense jibber jabber oh my goodness gracious everybody I'm truly sorry for this but as you can see I have pinned the cape onto the vest temporarily with pins and the top stitching came out lovely it is nice and flat as I was hoping it would be and I've just pinned some of the applique on just to see how it looks and looked good did it yes now I'm just saying I really don't know how I'm actually going to attach the cape to the vest so stay tuned all right hello friends good morning um so i've just gone ahead and pinned down the second cape layer together i've tested it out thankfully it drapes very well on the first guy i don't have to readjust anything which is good because i got put on work 
an hour earlier now and I have to go to the fabric store to get more of that so god I'm still exhausted I had nine hours sleep but I'm still tired I guess it's just a Gen Z problem but anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly sew this um, I'm gonna probably bring some of that to work so I can cut it out uh, I have five hours honestly and I have literally like today and possibly tomorrow and like w w best case scenario the day after to finish this so I guess let's just do it I'm I'm so tired okay so it's about like 11 hours later my goodness work was a killer five hours five hours god and I swear I searched someone who looked just like Louis Tomlinson like they had the mask on but I couldn't tell but they also had the the hair the beanie and the tattoos and I was so confused I really did I was staring at him for so long he probably got so uncomfortable but I didn't ask him because uh, how would I ask it and then there was a girl with him I thought that was what if that's Eleanor but then I was like oh I don't remember her looking like that but then when I served him I was trying to hear for the accent but I didn't hear him properly and it could it sounded in the middle but the determining factor that it was not him was in fact um his height uh he was taller than me and I for a fact know that he would not be taller than me um I searched it up um so that was fun I almost met a celebrity anyway I finally got the second cape all done top stitch all done now we had to rush this because I need to try and finish this by tomorrow, the end of tomorrow, because I want to try and do all the B-roll, no that's, oh wait, that's behind the scenes roll, I want to do all the after footage, tomorrow, so let's get on with it. Here I have the inner and outer layers of the cape all nice and pinned together, then I start tacking them across the shoulder seam of the vest, and now towards down the neckline, and, and now I'm uh, actually sewing them down to place on the shoulder seam and now cracking it down towards the lapel. Cracking? Okay. It's 1.30 at night here, so I call it in and wait till the next morning. Alright, good morning, friends. It's about 10 o'clock and hopefully this is the last morning um, that we have to work on this. Well, that we have to and are able to. Anyway, um, so I'm going to obviously try and finish everything. Well, today we're going to rush through it if I don't film it properly. No apologies, because we have to rush through this, but when going into any project, the best thing to have is a positive attitude. And probably starting earlier, so good luck. This morning I finished up sewing all the sides of the lapel areas, and I tacked it down on the other side with some beautiful hand sewing or watching Nikki tutorials, and here I am uh, being fearfully trying to make progress because I had to snip off the excess, but there was no going back because I had to hide everything, but um, I got in front of the camera to do it because when you do anything on camera, you can do anything on camera. And now, we're finally up to the next step, the shirt. And as for this, as I mentioned way earlier ago, I'm going to cut these sleeves off. And then replace them with some more. Okay, no. Aha! Replace them all with satin. The same one for the lining of the cape, so it's about the correlation, if that's the word. Now, an incredibly quick and way too oversimplified tutorial on how to make bishop sleeves. Firstly, cut off the existing sleeves out of your already existing shirt, cut off the cuffs from those, snip up the side seams, make uh, two extra snips, and then flare it out. Oh my god, stop texting me! And then once you make a nice big bell shape, once it's flared out, pin up the sides, and then just straight stitch, straight- almost oh, leave me alone! Straight stitch up the sewing machine, it finishes all in zigzags, and then uh, you can sew the cuff right back onto the bottom edge, and then you can sew back into the arm's eye if uh, he is ever going to catch up to my voice. Yes, there you are while watching Nikki tutorials, and now back to the tutorial. Okay, they're both officially on. I don't know how that went well. Nothing went too horribly. So now we have to get all the decorating done. Now all the structural foundation is complete. Oh god, okay. Let's see how fast we can do this. My tripod just broke. Uh... I feel like that's some kind of sign, but we don't believe in signs, so let's go on. Now using all three laces I've shown in this video, I'm finally embellishing the bottom of the cape and spreading it along upwards with fabric glue, and in about a few seconds I am going to explain that I'm trying to rush this all in like 45 minutes because I'm trying to get a good photo shoot reveal in because it's only meant to be sunny today and tomorrow is technically meant to be awful weather. But uh, yeah, so that didn't go well. Um, keep watching and stay tuned. This is progress so far, man, oh my gosh. It is turning out exactly how I'm wanting it to though. I'm very happy with it, but I need to rush this so badly good. Um, uh, I think it's taken about an hour to do this much so far. And I have to do all the way up, I'll tell you that. And then 
all the way on this side as well. <sighs> Procrastination life. Okay, friends, so it is many, many, many hours later since you saw me stressing and rushing, and I evidently I came to the conclusion that I simply could not finish it in the, I guess, 45 minutes that I had left before I would have had to get ready and then left in order to try and do some kind of photo shoot for the reveal. I figured I might just tack everything down temporarily with pins and hope that doesn't get seen on camera, but I figured I'm not kidding anyone, I might as well just go all out the right way. And even I can't cheat the camera that much. Um, so hopefully, I'm praying that the weather holds up tomorrow. And we will just re we'll just do it then, and then I can actually get the chance all night now to finish that. Except now I've been procrastinating again. Now I made a controversial transition from fabric glue to hot glue because the hot glue was simply just drying quicker. Yay! It is about quarter past two in the morning. My God, I did not expect it to go this late, but I also don't know how I was expecting to finish this in the 40 minutes I was planning to yesterday. Um, so in terms of progress. I have managed to get almost all of the second cape all done. I don't know if I showed the first, but the first is essentially all done now. Um, I couldn't, as you could tell, I couldn't be bothered with fabric glue anymore. I need to buy more hot glue sticks tomorrow to finish the rest of this. But I sound way too exhausted and depressed. Let's just skip to the next morning. Good morning, ladies, gentlemen, and non binaries So I have the capes. Finally, finally complete, using like literally the last hot glue stick I had left, and um, oh, finally I can, oh, I still can't take a break, and you know why, because it's these damn nails, I cannot do anything about these, like, they are absolutely atrocious, as you can see, so before we even get on with anything, let's just, um, okay, much better, now we can get to work, I finally got more hot glue sticks, whole pack of 30, Target exclusive. Now let's get on with it, hopefully while the weather still holds up. We now reach the climactic ending, my friends, and now with some newly acquired opera gloves to protect thy fresh acrylic sets, we are now gluing on the applique to the rest of the trousers for that beautiful embellishment. And now for the final step, which was meant to be like the second step, we are doing the vest and have your beautiful mother volunteer to do the gold buttons herself because you are not confident in doing it and we are in a rush. And once you find the perfect fashion accessory for the No Way Home premiere, you are ready for the reveal. to take pictures around 3.30 and now we have to pick up the two empty seats at the back so that they do not become empty no more um, and we'll have about two and a half hours to get ready and hopefully the weather will hold up so many of us were praying yesterday so let's hope this goes well Mwah. so we have gotten the other two hitchhikers back here um, they're feasting themselves <laughs> and <laughs> it's <laughs> It's almost two o'clock already? Oh my god, okay, so we have like under two hours to get ready. Let's go. I was meant to do a cool transition into my makeup look and I obviously forgot to finish it, so here's an anticlimactic reveal. Okay y'all, we're Someone just getting to like... formal now. We are so late, we're a half an hour late, but literally so is everyone else, so it's oh, fine. God. I'm on like 83%, this fun. discharges like, like only 1% every hour, so this is gonna be useless, but yay, we're at formal. Yay! Yeah, yay! Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, so to the venue itself, it is absolutely massive and beautiful, but it has to be massive because there are 450 of us that they have to house, my goodness. We had a lovely corner table in the corner, and, uh, oh right, most disappointing part about this whole thing, I think, is the food. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, so my cocky friends decided to film this because they were announcing 
the best dressed of the evening. Stay tuned. <laughs> Well, nobody saw that coming. When I went up to accept my award, my friends who had calculated the votes told me I had miraculously won in a landslide. So, wow, that's gonna give me some kind of flex. Everyone loved my outfit as soon as I stepped in. So, I guess I'd done something, right? Here and here we are for the rest of the night, dancing along, lip syncing to the latest and greatest hip hop tunes, because if you did not record yourself doing so, did you really go to formal? And my makeup stayed on the whole night. It was awesome. I, I am so proud of it. And I'm about to get ambushed in, I think, three, two, one. Oh, yes, and I'm about to fall over. Oh, have fun. And we are out. Signing out of the venue once we had left, honestly, it did get me a little emotional, mainly because I'm in the committee and I knew how much damn work went into this night, considering it was her last night of high school, honestly. And um, here are just some professional photos taken of the night. And here is my friend Ruby winning female best dressed. Ooh, certified queen she is. Stunning. Oh, stunning as well. And here are some candid photos. I see. Everyone loves my fit. They should. I deserve it. Honestly. And we have the best makeup look awarded to my friend John. He slayed it. Can you say certified king? Oh, we're stunning. If you're wondering why I look so much ugly all of a sudden, it's because it's two and a half months later and I can finally do this outro. Not because I'm lazy, just because I'm lazy. And the reason I'm so ugly is because I have had no reason or events to pretty myself up for anymore because the whole hype and preparations for formal is now over. And if you made it this far into the video, I am kind of concerned because you really should be doing things, better things with your day. Um, but I guess just before this video ends, I really, really want to say